vroom vroom. Hey yo guys, how the fuck are you? I trust that you guys are doing amazing and fucking splendid. It's your brother Paul, aka Peter Pan, aka the handsome sex god. And I'm wearing these blue light blocking glasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So I got something really awesome to talk with you guys about. Um, we're going to talk about mental health, okay? The power of mental health, emotional health, uh, physical health. <laughs> I don't know. What is spiritual health? I don't know. Um, just health in general. Just well-being, okay? Um, and happiness, okay? Because that's kind of it's kind of important. Right? It's kind of important to us. That's why we do what we do, right? So the power of a path, having a purpose in life, okay, and going on a mission, okay. When you're in momentum, the power of that can put you into a good state of being, okay. There's like a state of being that you have at a present moment in time, a short period of time. Then there's a state of being that you have. As a baseline, okay, like during a period in your life, right? Both of those states are highly influenced and affected when you have a path or a mission. And I'll talk about my personal path. I'll talk about action that I'm taking and action that I took lot, not last night, tonight. Okay, <laughs> I went out of my bro. It was pretty fun. Um, it was like a little adventure. I like took I took like two steps, what a measure. I'd say like uh, two steps out of my comfort zone. So that was pretty chill. Um, yeah, I take things very easy. Like I make a lot of progress and a lot of growth, even though I take things really easy because like taking things easy has been a new motto of mine, guys. Um, even with my drumming as well. Um, I'm looking forward to training tomorrow. I haven't trained like, <laughs> like another M tour, miniature three day M tour reset. So yeah, anyway, exaggerated eye movements. So. Let's take a look at the threads real quick before we continue. I had like a, a jacket that I wore that was like matching my boots. But anyways guys, so <clears throat> I've been working on my game. Um, for those who don't know what game is, it's not video games, so that would be cool. I would love to have a video game that involves actual game. Sync. Dating coach. Nah. Sync. Fuck it. Okay, people in the comments, if you have a question, ask them in the comments. Other people will probably explain to you what game is. For those of you who already know what it is, fuck yes, let's dive in, okay? So, <clears throat> previously I wasn't feeling uh, I wasn't feeling 100%, wasn't feeling all that great. Um, but you know what it was, what I realized? It wasn't, like, I was thinking, oh, it's this or it's that or it's thoughts or shit, shit like that. Or emotions and shit like that. And no, it wasn't, okay? Um, I realized eventually like I was I was like praying for the key like what's the solution like how do I uh, get myself back into a good state and all that shit and I realized what did I stop doing that I had been doing working out okay working out um, and not just working out having a path right having a path that I'm going down and that I'm blazing down you know what I'm saying and I'm heading somewhere um, and like having focus in the day where I'm in something called flow state, right? I was like, oh, okay, fuck, okay, that's the next thing to do. So what did I do, guys? So what do you do when you realize the solution to an issue, right? One thing I'd suggest is take the nearest or the lowest hanging fruit, right? Take the nearest um, recipe for success closest to you, right? Take the closest step that you can, right? <laughs> Different words. So... Um, my brother is at a place called Stellenbosch, well, and now he's home, I actually picked him up, so that's pretty fucking cool. So anyway, he studies at a place called Stellenbosch here in South Africa, and uh, I went there, to, I drove there, uh, I agreed to drive there to pick him up, even though it's like, I don't know, maybe an hour, I'm going to scratch my head, it's like an hour or something, I guess, I don't know, um, and my dad is giving me directions, but point is, I just stay focused on the road, right? So being focused on the road, that, when you like, when challenge, okay, let me show you this. When challenge meets skill, right? And you go like this, there's a place where it's fun, right? And where it's like really fun and enjoyable and there's reward in it and you're getting better at your skill and you're like fucking dancing, yeah, it's fun, right? So that place, just in between there, that is flow when, you, when you're in that state. So when you arrive in flow state for a bit of time, 
it helps you okay i think just even arriving in real estate just helps you but like a bit of time it's going to help you even more so it helps you like in neural pathways all that shit like i mean um in cal newport's book deep book he talks about myelin right so that's like something that goes on the, the neural stuff but we don't need to understand the whole brain chemistry and shit like that we just we'll go by feeling okay we'll go, what am i feeling right now what is my body telling me right now okay because that's how your thing was kind of designed to like, not designed really, but like it kind of create, evolved to like show you directions, like give you a compass so you can kind of, hmm, I trust myself more, blah, 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 okay? Um, and being the cause, not the effect, right? Being the cause, like knowing I have the will and I want to achieve this thing. How do I achieve it? Again, and trust myself and getting there. So anyways, large tangent reasonably large so anyway let's continue so while i was driving i got into flow state guys and at the end of the drive when i arrived there at uh Stellenbosch, my thoughts had cleared up and i was feeling in a way better state i was feeling way better than what i had felt before the drive right even though it was some challenge you know it was a bit of a challenge but i, I managed to like push myself a bit um being while being safe and everything i just drove a little bit a little bit faster like than what i would normally drive um, but it was still safe and all that shit, um, obviously caring for people and stuff. Um, and then like, I was just staying focused and shit, like being focused and everything like in my zone. Um, and, uh, then I felt way better when I arrived there. And then I took my brother back home, felt even better. We, so that was the first steps that I took, right guys? Um, this thing that was right in front of me. It wasn't necessarily exactly completely like, oh, that's my path, but indirectly it actually was to bring my brother over is, hey, you'll see how it uh, is related to my path. But anyways, um, and also I just wanted to have him over. We're gonna like watch comedy movies together as a family. I'm very, I'm actually th really thankful for my family. So anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah. So afterwards, my brother and I went out to a bar right we were just like going out and we would, um so i'm working on my game and shit like that right so bodybuilding and game that's currently like the closest steps that i'm taking now in my path like i've got my huge vision like with the world the world planet being a utopia and me being wealthy um the wealth is for fun really it's really for fun because i just like going shopping and i like buying clothes and i love the idea of buying luxurious sports cars you know like script ferrari butterfly doors going on cruise ships like partying ah, ah, las vegas fuck yes so anyway <coughs> um so bodybuilding like you know, huge as fuck super aesthetic and then also spitting some amazing fucking game I'm not just spitting like game on a high level like when you're in a really high level of game you don't need to spit and when i say spit i mean like you don't need to um do Cold reading is the cold reading is dope though. It's like one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> you don't need to qualify and shit. You don't need to impress or anything like that, right? You just be awesome and then you as a byproduct you're impressive. Okay. By expressing, you become impressive to the right people. Oh, by being expressive, you become impressive to the right people for you. Okay. So, anyways, <coughs> cool. That's a different I uh, think we can go into anyway. Back to happiness. <laughs> and just feeling good, you know? Feeling in a good space. Um, so, um, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I was talking to my brother about like um, my state and like happiness and shit like that. And I was like, yo, bro, like I noticed we were like in the kitchen. And I was like, yo, this was before we went out to the bar or the pub, whatever it's called. It's like a pub slash bar slash small, tiny club. Um, it's like a club, small club section, but then there's pool tables next to it. But anyways, so <coughs> dancing section. So um, I was like, yo, bro, like, I notice I feel way different, like when I'm not exercising, right? The difference is noticeable. Like, I just feel way more stable in life when I'm training, when I'm doing exercise. Like, the difference is like, wow. So anyway, we were talking about this other dude that stays at his dorm room, like right next to him, which is pretty cool. He's like buff. And he's like, I'm also, I got muscle, but like, anyway, apparently he's really buff. So, 
It doesn't matter, it's beautiful, it's awesome. I'm getting bigger and bigger. I'm just focusing on my own path. I just want to stop, I said that. So anyways, <clears throat> and like how this guy's encouraging people, it's awesome, and he's like happy and shit like that and on his path and stuff. I was like, yeah, dude, you know, when you're on your path and stuff, um, that flow state and shit, like, dude, it's like you have, um, you're not drifting, you're, you're flowing, right? You're in momentum, right? And you want to be flowing, right? That's the way to that ideal happiness, that ideal joy. There's even a book called Ikigai. The Ikigai, I haven't read it. I've just heard about it, just seen the cover. It's called The Japanese Secret to a Long and Happy Life. So um, I'm not sure if all the Japanese people use it yet. <laughs> Blessings. But um, I think that would be ideal But any fucking way. But... Um, just the idea is what I'm hinting at right now, talking about. <clears throat> so anyways, so as you, you guys are probably getting the message, dude, I'm fucking flowing like with this video. It's cool. And I haven't recorded a video in a while, which is cool. And I've been talking to my brother. So dude, this is dope. So anyways, guys. Um, so I believe you get the idea. Um, anyway, let me continue to crystallize it more um just like really give you guys more clarity on this so that you can see more of how to implement it in your life so i would say before i go into how i've been using it in like my game and shit like that i'll say like yeah find your path like what you can use it on and then have time chunks where you focus on it okay cool so here's how i use it even more <laughs> So we went out this evening. As you were going, I practiced my walk, my sexy walk, like making myself the most attractive version of myself. Because this is fun. It's, it's not just about sex, right? It's not just about fucking hot girls that like me. Because that's cool. The fact that they're hot and I'm fucking them, that's fun. The fact that they love me, that's just satisfying for the ego. Um, or whatever my, just narcissism, I guess. But um, it's not all about that. There's passion and it's like an art for me. It's like, I'm moving my head like this. It's like an art for me to bolt myself up and get to that level where I'm attracting the girls towards me and they're loving me and it's, I'm fucking just fucking scoring, you know? It's something that I light up when I talk about because um, I love the bowling of it. I'm like, dude, this is, because for me, it's like the painting. It's like an artwork. It's like some Leonardo da Vinci type shit, except Mona Lisa's smiling because she's horny as fuck and her panties are dripping wet because I'm an awesome ass motherfucker. Hold eye contact. So anyways, <laughs> there's so much to improve on. It's like music. It's like a music. It's like an art, bro. I fucking love it, okay? And I add value to people and they enjoy it. They have good memories. I have good memories. It's good energy. The people are like, dude, this guy's awesome, man. We should come back. We should fucking hang out again. This is so cool. Um, and I'm having a good time. Okay, so <laughs> fucking going on a tangent about my passion for game. Um, in a way that's beneficial to all involved. So anyways, um, when I work on it, right? So I would take action in it, like the immediate action steps, like just throughout the day, I like practice my walk. And that's actually why I put the camera here so that you can see how I walk. Um, and I practice all these things, like feeling my feet in the ground and getting present in the moment more. Um, when I speak to people, like I have eye contact, I look people in the eyes. Um, I make like fucking playfully challenging, self entertaining jokes when I talk with girls and make facial expressions. I do all this stuff. I, it's fun, right? And it's adding value. So, anyways, I'll show you my walk. And as I grow more, I get more into state, and it's like something you can always, I can always take action on. Wait, maybe let me walk this way. Am I doing it? Am I doing it how I normally do? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. It's better. It's a bit of a. I think if I hold the camera, you guys can see better. Like. Okay, you can. If you watch the video where I talk about three sexy girls are stalking me again or something like that, um, that's where the title is like, three sexy girls are stalking me again. Like, just as I'm walking around the corner, you'll see I like have this a little bit of a thing with my shoulders, like when I walk like that. That's what I've like been just holding on it like just 
chipping at that sculpture, chipping away that sculpture just to make it more defined and more like to fucking, <clears throat> it's beautiful. So I'll be doing these things, going out, having fun, but still presenting my genuine self, you know. So we went to the bar there. Uh, I guess that particular place was a little bit out of my comfort zone because I felt at the moment we were going there, but everyone was so warm with us. Um, or like this girl and this guy were like pretty warm with us, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, it was just like going there, like just taking action, going out, like not expecting everything to be perfect and not having like an outcome in mind, but just knowing that we're going to, or I'm going to take action. You know what I'm saying? Like he wanted to get a drink. I'm like, yeah, sure. Dude, I'll get you a drink or something. It's cool. Like I'm going to hang out with my bro, my brother. Um, so that was cool. So yeah. Yo, and while we were talking, um, we were sitting like at the bar area. We walked to the dance floor, whatever. While we were talking, there was this cool thing that happened. Like... Like there's lots of different girls that are really into me and shit like that and I've grown on my game journey and I'm thankful. One thing, um, some of you guys already know this, but I really like it when there's a white girl that's Afrikaans, right? Um, if you want to, you can Google Afrikaans, you just know how to spell it. But she's Afrikaans and she's into me. I don't know why, I don't know why. So maybe it's my imprint or something like that. And she's got like a fetish for guys of my complexion. I don't know, it fucking turns me on. Like she's like trying to get sexy with me or like seduce me like with her Afrikaans accent. Like when she, when she speaks English, when she speaks English in an Afrikaans accent. Like, oh, yes, take me away, baby. Suck my dick right now. Like I'll let you do it. I'll, I'll allow you. I'll, I'll give you permission. Like go ahead, like suck on my left now. Right now you say that for tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Sorry. But dude, it turns me on, okay? So anyways, we were there and there's this chick, um, I was keeping my head pretty straight as we go. I was, I was very like non-reactive and everything like my head's pretty straight and pretty fucking high status and everything. Um, so I didn't notice other girls uh, looking at me or anything, but I just noticed there was this chick looking at me. She had like some hippie type of vibe on. I mean, she was looking for a guy who looks like a bad boy, hence my fuckboy earrings, my hairstyle and all, um, and my complexion, my fucking pink lips, okay. <laughs> I'll make this video more about you guys. But, um, ah. so anyway, she's interested in me, stuff like that. And I realized, dude, I can get a white Afrikaans. I don't know if she's Afrikaans, I was just assuming. But white Afrikaans girlfriend. And hopefully she's bisexual and I have threesomes with other girls. I intend to get a white uh, girlfriend that's bisexual. Preferably Afrikaans, that'd be fun. Just for the accent, it'd be fun. Um, but I'll see, I'll see how it goes. I'll see like, um, what I find, I like scan it out, you know what I'm saying? Give myself lots of options and shit like that and scan it out and then girlfriend and then have threesomes with other girls and be in the open, have an open relationship. But with me being the open one in the relationship, you know what I'm saying? Hashtag Trevor Noah jokes. Trevor Noah type jokes, doing a lot of inside jokes now. Fuck it. Okay, let's continue, guys. So, during that whole thing, like, I came back, like, feeling back, like, oh, I'm back, like, Ah, oh, yes, I'm in good state. Why am I like, I'm in my zone more now, right? Because I've been going into flow state, like, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm like moving towards a, a chief aim, you know what I'm saying? So you guys want to feel better. You want to like get on your path, on your purpose. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like I made notes, like oh, mental notes, like, of what I'm going to do next time to improve and like socialize here, socialize there. Like how I usually do at uh, events. I go social style, like social circle style. Um, with these people, I make friends with them quick, 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 like the same night social circle style. Um, and then like all the girls get the opportunity to hear me talking in the group and they're like, Oh my God, this guy is fucking cool. Oh, like, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I love my face, dude. I love my face. Dude. <laughs> So anyways, um, and I just love improving. So it's not even about the immediate result. It's just about the process of getting so much better. Cause I know my results are already good now, like, but I'm like um, cashing in on them. Like I'm getting better at cashing in on them. Cause I get a lot of attraction from lots of different goals. Um, but the thing that I'm going on now is like improving more and escalating. Cause they want me to take them back. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I'm getting better at like, uh, what do I say? Leading them there. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, Anyway, I'll get into that in another video. If you guys really want that, you can comment in the comments and I'll probably probably make a video for you. So anyways, um, yeah, I've made progress. There was another time when, dude, I was just 
this one girl and I, we had like this super steamy moment. Um, it was just like eye contact, like we were in the middle of the road. I went walking with my mother around this place, a place called the Horseshoe here in Wellington. And um, there was a chick, she was walking from further up down there. She was with a girlfriend, a female friend. And uh, I was like with my mom, like some, and then I was like, my mom and I went ahead and I was like, okay, wait, mom, let me go talk back to the girl. Cause as we were walking past, like, like this girl and I, we held eye contact, dude, like fucking like this. And as we walked past, like she kept holding eye contact. Then she was like turning her head like this. And I, I held her, I found it a bit longer also. And I was like, just looking at her. And then I was like, oh, you have really nice eyes. And I was like, fucking, but in a, like fucking high status way. Like, and then she's like, oh, no, no, no. The girls, they were fucking ecstatic. They were like so enthusiastic. They were like energized as fuck, right? The three E's. <laughs> I just made that up right now. But no, they were like really ecstatic about it, right? And I walked past my mom. I was like, Paul, don't lead the girls on or something like that. Like she normally says that. Like, Paul, don't lead the girls on. Just because um, but she doesn't understand. Girls enjoy flirting, right? I'm not leading anyone on. If they earn me over, I will have sex with them. If they earn me over, if I'm interested in it. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, so they were super excited. And then um, as we went on, I was like, okay, you know what, mom? Like, let's stop here. Stop. I'm going to go back and check it out. And I turned around. And I love it. My mom's open. It's awesome. She's open-minded like that. So anyway, I go back, check the other girl. Such a steamy thing happened with the eye contact. She gave me a hand. I was like, yo, give me, give me a hand. I was like, she like put her hand in my hand. And like, like I'm gonna just spin around and shit like that. She's like, mm, just look in my eyes. Like, I looked her in the eyes. I was like, I just wanna, I just wanna fuck you. I just wanna fuck you. She's like, she like didn't bat. She didn't bat. A wink a fucking she's just like looking you right in my eyes like just totally totally like in the frame like totally yes like just there and i was like telling her like yeah i was like I've, did i tell her i wanted to pull her hair or something like that it was like i was like mm. just like the way he was fucking saying it. dude it's fucking mm. um why am i touching my nose like this um boobies i was like looking for reasons Bookers. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so that was like, I've done stuff like that more in the past, um, more intuitively in the past, but now, and I didn't really necessarily know how to replicate it, but um, replicate the same attraction, like it was more like a stage, but I can go into more detail about that later. But anyways, now it's more replicatable and fucking going for it. Fuck yes. 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 So anyways, guys, on your path, mission, shit like that. And you see, it's the art because if you just, if I just wanted sex, like there's so many ways to just get sex. Like just become, um, there's so many different ways to get sex. Like just become a rock star. Duh. Like just become super famous, super rich. Obviously this game that plays a role as well, but, um, I just really like game. Okay. <laughs> I just really like it. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hey, bro. You want to be in the video? What it is. What it is, cuz. What it is, cuz. So, yeah. Um, Man. That was pretty cool. Yeah, go ahead. I think it will serve as a good ASMR for the video. Um, as you guys can now hear, the Golden Gate Bridge. Anyways, on this very natural, normal note, I'm going to end the video. And bid you guys farewell on your path health it's good for your well-being all that good stuff okay get in the flow state step a little bit out of your comfort zone two steps okay and then you know what i mean um but more consistently you know what i'm saying more regularly get better get into that flow state every day just a bit each day you know what i'm saying even if it's for an hour or something like but anyways peace guys vroom, vroom.